Hi church, it's me Joe Hill. Um, I wanted to participate this year in the 21 days of prayer um, as I have before um, because I think God put something on my heart a couple days ago during my Bible reading and I wanted to be able to share it with you. Um, it comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 29 and it talks, uh, basically it's when David is preparing Israel and his son for the building of the temple. And there was a very interesting um, sort of pattern that he followed uh, that I think could do well in our um, lives today. And to give you a little background, David was coming to the end of his reign. He was an old man who lived well, um, done as best he could what God wanted him to do. Uh, during his reign, he wanted to create a house for God as he had created a palace for uh, himself. But because of him being a warrior, a king, and the blood on his hands, God did not want his house to be built by him. He wanted that to go to his son Solomon. Um, hearing that, you would think that David would be downtrodden, but instead he... Uh, prepared his son as best he could with materials and advice to have him ready to build the temple as soon as uh, he succeeded him as king. Um, the points that I want to point out in this is uh, the undertaking of, of building the temple was going to cost Israel a lot. Um, you would think with, in general, that people would want to hold on to what they have instead of just giving... Um, all they could, but it was a little bit different in this because David um, showed an example. That example was followed by his leaders, and then that example was followed by the people themselves. Um, David gave generously, and that inspired his leaders to give generously, which inspired his people to give generously. Um, I'm going to jump around a little bit in various verses because a lot of the chapter will like go into detail about how many like, gold talents and stuff like that that was given. But I want to hit some of the um, finer points of how the Bible describes the reaction to the giving. Um, after, Ga after David had uh, uh, given himself, uh, in verse 6, this is the leader's response. Then the leaders of families, the officials of the tribes of Israel, the commanders of thousands, then commanders of hundreds, and the officials in charge of the king's work gave willingly. Skip ahead a little bit. Uh, the people rejoiced at the willing response of their leaders, for they had given freely and wholeheartedly to the Lord. David the king also rejoiced greatly. Uh, the people could see that they were being joyful givers, and that was the first step for a... Um, for them as a nation was to give to this project. Um, the second part was joy. They didn't give it out of um, what they thought was obligation. They wanted to give. They wanted to show God um, that they understood that they where their blessings came from. Uh, they were all praising and excited about all of this that was happening. Uh, in verse 10, and David shares that praise and then has a um, prayer that he uh, says over the people. And verse 10 goes, David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, O Lord, God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Uh, the next part is what really I thought was, it's something that maybe we've thought, um, but I personally have not let it sink in. Um, it's in verse 14 when David said, But who am I, and who are my people, that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you, and we have given you only what comes from your hand. Um, he goes on talks about um, some other parts about their journey uh, 
uh, to becoming the nation that they were. But David, the first king, or not the first king, the king that God chosen to lead his people, uh, actually has to stop and check and say, but who am I? His humility in that aspect of understanding that him being king, the uh, success of the nation, the wealth that they had um, achieved and um, taken in was all given to them by God. And they were simply just giving back what was owed. God um, blessed them so much that they were joyously wanting to give and um, just show how much they appreciated all that he had done. Uh, after the after they were praising, there was prayer and then worship. Um, for me personally, in throughout 2020 and doing the um, the online uh, church, I've had a harder time worshiping. I thoroughly enjoy being able to sing worship songs with uh, all of you all and in the church building, hearing everyone sing, just being able to sing out loud and uh, just worship God in that way. Um, seeing it on a TV for me has just not been the same. And I've had actually been struggling um, being able to wor worship in that way. Um, prayer is something that I think leads to worship. And that's specifically why I think the order that David followed here ended in worship. Uh, worship should be able to recognize all that God has done for us. And just the last thing that we can give is ourselves to him. So during this 21 days of prayer and during the next couple weeks with uh, Jeff's um, preaching series, I uh, challenge you all to um, continue to pray and especially share. I would love to hear on our Facebook or during the comments during church or something like that, things that you all have been praying for, things that are on your hearts. Um, we aren't called the nation of Israel or anything like that, but we are the church and we're all connected in that way. And um, we as a people need to recognize that although 2020 was hard, um, it might even get harder, it might get easier, it might change, it just might be different. I um, challenge you all to connect with your other believers, your other friends, your family, anyone that you would want to connect to about this. Um, share, give, doesn't have to be money, but like give your time, give your um, whatever you can give. Uh, be joyful in it. Be thankful. God has given you something so you can give. Uh, praise God in that. It's important to be able to recognize where our blessings come from. And then remember to pray. Pray that um, God can show you wisdom, that he can show our church wisdom, that he can lead our country in the right direction, that um, all the things, all the crazy stuff we see on the news is something that um, he knew from the beginning was going to happen, and he has a plan for us in that. And finally, worship. Um, sing out to him, or even be silent and sing in your own mind. Uh, God can hear it all, and he deserves it. And I'm just thankful that we have a God that loves us as much as he does, that um, he's willing to accept any of these small gifts, anything that we are willing to give him, because he deserves it. He gave it to us first. He's blessed us, and he deserves um, all that and more. Thank you for listening to me today. I can't wait to see you guys again and hopefully be able to worship in our building soon. Um, but until then, be safe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.